first thing that we have to do, we have to go to cloudfair.com. All right, so you will see something like this over here. Now, if you have not already signed up, it is very easy. Simply type in your email address and choose a password. Click on the sign up button and you will be signed up. So just two things are required over here. I am already signed up, so I'll click on login. So once you log in or sign up to your Cloudflare, you will see a page something like this. Now you have to find a button which says something like this plus add site. So we have to click on that button and type in the name of your website over here. So what I'll do is I'll copy the name of my website from here and paste it over here. And don't forget to delete all these things, this HTTPS, www dot all those things from here. And just make sure your only your website name is present over here. For example, for me, it is besthostguide.com. Now put this thing and click on add site. All right. Now all these things are tick mark. You can see Cloudflare is querying your site's existing DNS record and all those things. Don't you have to read this? Simply click on uh, next. Now we have to select the free plan because that is what we are going to configure in this video. So select this and click on confirm plan. Click on confirm. All right. So here we have the settings. So first uh, we have the DNS query results. So what you have to do, we have to tick mark all these things, make all these things on. Okay. So make all these things on. Simply click on that and it will on everything till here, till www. Okay. So on all these things. Okay. Now click on continue. Now you'll get these two different name servers and you have to change your existing servers. Now you can easily do that. If you don't know how to change the name server of your hosting company, you can simply type in Google, like how to change name server in whatever the name of your company is. For example, how to na change name server in GoDaddy and something like that. Okay. So you can see that in, you can follow this step. It's really easy. So I will you, I'm using TMD and that is what I recommend. So I'll show you in this video how to change the name servers in TMD. Now, just a quick tip over here. Uh, if you guys uh, don't know uh, the most important thing in websites, performance, security, speed and all those things is the hosting that you choose. Okay. So even if you do all these settings, all this caching, all this optimization and so on, still you might not see a great amount of difference in your website if you're using a very bad hosting service. Okay. So basically what I prefer is, uh, you'll see three different links in the bottom of this video, in the description of this video. I have given the link of top three hosting service provider in the market. So choose one from them, especially if you're using a hosting service provider like GoDaddy, uh, HostGator and Bluehost. Those are the worst hosting companies. Okay. So especially if you're using those thing, I would highly recommend you to migrate your website to those three different companies. Choose any one of these, uh, those three, all of them are really great. Okay. So you can check that link and you can purchase a new hosting that will be much better for you. That is the most important thing in oh, websites performance and speed. Now, if you want to change the name servers in TMD, go to portal.tmd.com, sign into your account and click on login. All right. So you will see something like this. Now here you have to go to domains. Okay. Whatever domain over here. So this is my domain. So what I'll do is I'll click on manage and I'll select this one manage domain and here is my name service. So you'll see DNS one, DNS two. What you have to do? You have to copy this one from here and paste it over here instead of one and copy the second one and come and paste it over here under DNS two and click on update. So once you do so, it will take around 24 hours. They say 24 hours, but it generally takes few minutes, two, three or five, 10 minutes. So you should just, uh, just after you update it, click on that update button, simply click on continue from here. Now they will see website not active. Uh, the DNS is not yet uh, uh, updated. So you can simply click on recheck name servers. Okay. Now, as you can see, it is saying uh, the status is now active. They have, you know, seen that the name servers are updated. Now we can proceed further. Now, the, now, if you see at the top, we have many different options over here. If you click on analytics, you'll see all the analytics of your website. 
you know you can see total request obviously you will not see these for the first time because you have just created a new website on cloudflare okay but i have this website from uh, before so that's why i'm seeing all this data over here so cache request uncached request and all those things so all the analytics you will see over here now if you want to change the dns settings you can go go to dns and you will see all the settings you can change it from here if you have not changed at the beginning then you have crypto firewall and all those things now most of the things are not very important over here that two very important thing that we have to consider over here because what we are doing is we are improving the speed and performance and also we are improving the security of our website so for that first we have to improve the speed so click on this speed and make sure javascript css and html all these three are tick mark okay and if you're using w3 cache then make sure to watch the complete video because after enabling these things uh, you have to disable minification on w3 total cache so make sure you watch the complete video so that you understand what to do if you're using w3 total cache plus cloudflare on your website okay so here make sure you tick mark all these things and also make sure to enable this thing accelerated mobile links make this thing on enable accelerated mobile links and show amp logo before links okay so make sure these two things are enabled now broadly this will speed up load times for your website's uh, visitors https traffic by applying broadly compression so make sure this thing is also enabled also enable or make this thing on rocket loader this will improve the performance and speed of your website especially for those pages that are using javascript okay now if you want to you know, you know redirect your website to a mobile version if you have created two different websites then in one is for desktop one is for mobile you can select the domain or subdomain that you have for your mobile version and you can redirect anyone visiting your website from mobile to that subdomain okay and i don't have to click on any save settings or all everything is automatically saved whatever changes you do then after that you can go to caching and you'll see make sure these settings are over here okay so standard is selected under caching level and browser cache exp expiration make sure it is four hours so every four hours the browser cache will expire and it will cache new files always online make sure it is on okay so only three settings to be done over here now let's go to page rules now here we have to create few page rules now page rules are very important and you will understand that when, once we start creating okay so we have to create page rules for different pages to improve the caching and security of those specific pages let's first create a page rule for the home page so simply click on this create page rule button and you can see this is how you have to put your uh, url link you can see the example now what we can do is we can type in the website name over here okay so here it is uh, besthostingguide.com okay as you can see at the end we have to put uh, put this asterisk sign so i'll put this slash asterisk okay and before this thing uh, if your website is using https this is ssl certificate then you have to put this thing http colon slash slash and asterisk now if you don't have a ssl certificate you can remove this section okay you can just have your website name slash asterisk okay but i do have that so i'll make this thing okay something like this now we have to add all the settings that we want so click on this add a setting thing and you'll see there are so many different settings over here so the first one that we need to uh, activate is this one browser cache ttl okay so how what is what should be the time of the browser cache to delete to expire okay so i will select a day so for one day uh, should be the browser cache now click on add a setting let's select a new setting and let's search for cache level okay so select this cache level and from here you have different options like bypass standard and everything so we have to select this thing cache everything because we want to cache everything on our home page okay so we have only two page rules over here for the home page browser cache ttl a day cache level cache everything click on save and deploy now let's add a new page rule uh, for the home page 
So what you can do again, put this thing HTTP colon slash slash asterisk, then put in your website name, which is for in my case, this, uh, then after that, put in forward slash WP dash admin or hyphen admin. And after that, put in another asterisk. Now this is for the dashboard, uh, for this page, as you can see, when we want to go to dashboard, we type in our website name slash WP hyphen admin. So we uh, have to set different caching uh, settings for the dashboard and different security settings for the dashboard. So let's uh, add the first setting. Let's click on add a setting. And from here, let's select uh, this one. Let's type in browser integrity check. Okay, so select this thing and make it on. So basically Cloudflare will check whether the IP address or the computer or laptop, whatever it is, what is, uh, that is visiting your website is safe or not. Now, if that IP address is uh, uh, blacklisted, then they will not be able to you know, visit your website because they can attack your website and they can do some damage to your website. So we don't want that. Now click on add a setting. Let's add another setting. Let's type in always online. Now make sure this is off so we don't have to do any change over here and click on add a setting. Now let's select this one security level. Now because this is uh, the dashboard, uh, we want higher security over here. So select high from here. Okay, so we want higher security for our dashboard page. Now click on add a setting and this time let's select browser cache TTL and let's select 30 minutes okay we want the minimum uh the most uh least uh time amount of time to expire for because this is the dashboard now obviously if you don't understand any setting that i'm doing don't worry just do whatever i am doing and you'll see a great amount of difference and improvement in the performance and speed and also in the security of your wordpress website so just don't worry follow my steps if you even if you don't understand anything now click on add a setting and for this time let's select cache level. Now in the home page we have cached everything but here we have to bypass cache. So we don't want uh, this to cache anything on the uh, dashboard because that is not at all required and that might give you some problem if you cache you know if you cache uh, if you select this cache standard or cache everything for your dashboard you know whenever you do a changes to your post or your page you might not see those changes because you will see the cached version the old version okay so just make sure to select bypass from here now the next setting next two settings first one is disable ads and disable apps okay so it will apps are disabled okay and then after that select disable performance Okay, so it will say performance is disabled. Now these two settings are recommended by Cloudflare. If you go to their website, if you type in Cloudflare page rules, you will see a post written by Cloudflare itself. Uh, must use page rules for everyone. I think it is this one. Now in that you will file, find something like this one. Okay, I, I think this is the video. In this video, you will find that they recommend using these two settings, disable apps and disable performance for this page. Now, let me copy this link because we'll need a similar link uh, later on. So once you do all these settings, click on save and deploy. Now we have to create a new page rule and this is the final page rule. So let's click on this. Let's uh, copy paste the thing and let's type in asterisk review is equal to true and then again asterisk okay so this is also recommended by these guys so they recommend this thing as well now what i can do is let me do one thing i if we can copy those settings because here the settings are same that we have done for the uh, home page so what i'll do i will not explain it i'll just very fast do all the settings now this is for the preview page whenever you change you do some changes in your post and your pages or whatever product or something you see at the top uh, of your wordpress page preview page okay so we have to uh, we don't want to cache that page because uh, when we preview the page we, we want to see the latest version not the cache version okay if you don't understand that don't worry just follow my steps okay now let's click on add settings and we have to do all the same settings so again first one is browser cache integrity so select this thing and make it on 
the second one was always online so let's select always online from here and make sure it is off third one was security level so let's search for security level and let's make it high okay add a setting browser cache ttl okay select 30 then cache level we have to bypass because we don't want uh, uh to you know to cache this page then after that let's disable apps and performance okay as i have explained you earlier this is recommended by cloudflare okay so let's disable apps and performance and let's click on save and deploy so these three uh, are the page rules that is mostly the suggested one the recommended one by cloudflare now what we can do is if you are using w3 cache on your website which i think you are using then we have to do some changes over here first of all go to your website go to your dashboard let's refresh this link now when you hover this performance you'll see this performance tab if you are using w3 total cache so when you hover this you will see something called extensions click on that now here you'll see cloudflare first activate this thing now once you activate this you will see some uh, two options settings and deactivate click on this settings all right so once you click on that you'll see you have to specify account credentials so you have to show whether you are the owner so click on authorize now here you have to put in the email address that you have used to sign up on cloudflare so i'm putting my email over here and here you have to put in the global api key now if you want to get your api you can come over here and click on overview once you click on overview come at the bottom you'll see this link under domain summary get your api key click on that now you'll see at the bottom api keys global api key click on this view button you have to type in your password uh, it might require so let me type in the password for it for this one okay let's click on view now this is my api let's copy this from here come over here let's paste it click on next now this will uh, check it okay so this has checked and this is the website that i want to use this is the setting that i want to use so select this one click on next okay so once you authorize this you will see some more settings like under general you have these uh, settings for uh, like you know widget statistical interval and all those things page caching so you don't have to do anything over here okay you'll see all these things just don't do anything okay everything is done we have done all the settings uh, on cloudflare so you just have to authorize this and after that go to general settings and just check one thing under this cdn tab uh, which is over here you should see cloudflare over here this thing is already enabled and we have cloudflare over here so click on save settings and purge caches so this will you know tremendously improve the performance and speed of your website now let's go to gt metrics and let's check the result and score of this page or this website so let's paste in this code over here let's analyze it all right guys so as you can see it is almost 100 percent it is now 99 percent 95 percent why slow score fully loaded it just takes uh 1.4 second to fully load and obviously this is just a fresh install and we have only one post that's why you see something like this but even if you have a very heavy website you will see a tremendous improvement in your website so what i recommend you is first uh before doing anything else to your website check the gt metric score then after that watch the first episode that is the w3 total cache and watch the second episode which is this one cloudflare and after doing both the settings you can check the score and you will be shocked okay now i forgot a very important thing over here when you use cloudflare you have to disable minify from here okay i forgot that totally forgot that okay so make sure you mini, uh, disable this minify and click on save settings and purge caches now if you're not planning to use cloudflare you can enable this thing from here okay all right guys so this is it for this video in the next video or the next episode of this series i will teach you how to use itheme security to secure your website i'll show you how you can secure your website so that no one can like hacker and all those people they cannot get access to your website okay so that is also very very important video make sure you watch that 
okay and i hope you guys find this video helpful let me know what you think about this video if you like it give a thumbs up to this video if you don't want to miss any further videos click on subscribe and that bell icon if you have any doubt any queries any questions suggestions for me you can leave them in the comment section below thanks a lot for watching guys see you in the next episode